all right guys welcome back to my channel uh, today i'm going to do a quick review or comparison between the m50 and the brand new r6 well it's not brand new but it's been out for a few months but still newest full frame camera that i own i was uh debating between the r5 and the r6 i decided to go for the r6 a bit cheaper cheaper um and the quality of the photos i think is great i was very happy with my 5d mark ii but i was looking for the autofocus system um, other than that i don't think i see a difference between the photos that i take uh, that i took with the 5d mark ii and the photos that i take with the r6 to be honest so the r6 is only a 20 megapixel camera i think the 5d mark ii was around the same maybe a couple pictures uh, a couple pixels more but here is the setup that I have, so I can show you guys. So here's the uh, R6, and I do have my L bracket on there, so I can't uh, open the screen all the way there. Oh, actually I can. Never mind, I was proven wrong to myself. So the kind of test that I'm doing on these, uh, both of these cameras, it's, uh, I did a little bit of video uh, B-roll there with both. I will show you those comparisons. Uh, I framed the bridge and the rocks here around the same uh, level as best as I can because the M50 has the 11 to 22 millimeter uh, lens, which is a kit lens. Uh, and I have it set at 14 millimeters. Now, this camera right now, I have it set at um, 14 millimeters, but it crops to 1.6. Now, I do have the capabilities on the uh, R6 to crop as well to 1.6, but the 24 to 70, it is not the same as the 11 to 22. So, I am matching the frame as as best as I can so that they are both uh, framing the same uh, shot. Now, remember guys, I'm using the Tamron lens and this 24 to 70 has been uh, my beast lens. It's the lens that I use the most in landscape photography. I will be doing uh, more landscape photography with my uh, Nifty 50, the 50 millimeters. Uh, which is 1.8 it's a couple of hundred dollars on the rf lens and it's so light and so what i am going to be testing in the future is going to be panoramas with the 50 millimeters because i found that it gives you a nice flat straight uh, perspective uh, of the landscape photos when you stitch them together so for now uh, i am shooting the m50 now i'm taking photographs with them and one of the photographs that I took, and, and now mind you guys, this, this, the lens are a little bit different, but like I said, this is not a BS review. This is straight flat out. It's, if you have the M50 with the kit lens, 11 to 22, this is what you can do with it. And then I also have the R6 with a 24 to 70. This is what you can do with it. I try to match the, the wide of the angle, but uh, the M50 is gonna be a little bit wider probably uh, when I put it in post. So I'm gonna show you the three photos that I took so that you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. So the first photo was aiming this way. Now I did did a focus stack from here on this rock right here, that rock right there, that background over there and then I focus all the way on the bridge okay with both of the cameras so I'm using the same focus stacking technique and I'll show you that picture as well and I'll label it so you guys know what it is and then I also did a couple of handheld shots and one of them was a handheld shot of that right there on that rock I also did this tree right here focusing right on the little knot in the middle and then I also did the bridge by itself uh, right on the bridge uh, handheld now I made the settings on both of them as best as I could match it so I did shoot the M50 with an f11 which f11 should give me the most uh, sharpness if I am focusing on the bridge it should give me focusing uh, 
all the way back here to where I'm at. At least as close as about maybe five, six feet, okay? Uh, and then the R6 as well. So for the R6, because I'm shooting at the 24 millimeter length, uh, I shot that at nine, F9, and that should give me focus from the bridge all the way as well to the rock. And so both of these cameras I've taken photos with, that is the actual no BS using the M50, comparing it to the R6. So all we gotta do now is, I am gonna, I think I'm gonna take a few more pictures uh, of different things around here, and I'm gonna label them. So the M50, what settings I did on it, and then the R6, what settings I did to it. And then uh, you guys be the judge. Now, a disclaimer guys, when you take photos, this is for a beginner. When you take photos, and it looks great on your computer you have to remember that the coloring on the phones on the computers laptops all that stuff depending on the monitor that you have the color is going to be a lot different than when you do print the photo so it's very important uh the best tip that i can give you is if you're going to take photos and you're going to adjust them now you can print them from whenever you can print them from costco you can print them from other photography websites whatever whatever you want to Okay, Costco has been the cheapest to me, so that's what I've uh, been printing my photos with. If I was to sell a photo, then I will definitely uh, consult a more professional uh, photograph lab, and then I will print those, and then I then I will give you uh, those prints if you want to buy them, because I do have some for sale. Um, and I'll probably show you a little slideshow of the, of the photos that I am selling right now. Uh, they're actually pretty good. They're, they're really great. And so if you're going to order some, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the lighting so that when you print, you just tell them, just print it. Don't change anything. Print it like this. And the photos will be coming out really beautiful. So with that being said, can you print a good quality photo or can you take a good quality photo with the M50, uh, which is an entry level camera, mirrorless nonetheless, and uh, compared to the R6, what are the differences? Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that because of the crop sensor on the uh, M50, the uh, when you're using lens, like if I put my Tamron lens on there, right? If I put them in and I adjust to like maybe 1.8, where you're supposed to get big buck on the book in the background. Uh, the M50 won't give you as, as good of a bokeh because um, it's the, the crop factor uh, kind of changes that a little bit. So I've noticed uh, on some portraits that I did for a, for a senior uh, shoot that uh, high school uh, senior photo, <laughs> not a senior photo, <laughs> that'll be for the whatever. And uh, so I did a photo shoot and then I used the M50 because I wanted to try them out, right? I did the M50, I used the same lens, uh, my 24 to 70, 2.8, and I took the exact same shot with both of the cameras with the same lens, and I noticed that the picture that I took obviously with the Tamron, this was with the 5D Mark II back then, uh, was very superb, it was beautiful. The other picture was great, but the Boca was the biggest uh, difference that I saw. So when it comes to that, there is going to be a difference, okay? You're talking to about an entry-level camera compared to a professional-level camera. Um, and even this professional-level camera is not the best, best, best professional camera. But I think it's the R6. I don't think I need anything else besides the R6, to be honest. I mean, if I'm going to go uh, into a different category of business and I want a higher megapixel camera for photos, we're talking about photos. Uh, maybe the R5 uh, might be the one that I would go for. Uh, there's there's already an R, R5S coming out already, uh, which is a lot of money. So I don't see enough difference on the detail between those two professional level cameras, R5 and the R6. I just don't see it. I mean, megapixel wise, of course, you know, the, you know you're gonna be able to get more pixels on the on the photo, and that's the difference. But when you're shooting with the R6, there's a reason why you have different types of lens if i have a wide angle lens now i'm actually adding a little bit more than what i'm doing for the review here but i just want you to know i'm going to give you a heads up of what i'm going to do for my next review my next review is going to be just on the r6 and how i feel about it 
but the uh, the biggest things on the cameras is the lens that you have so if I want a, a wide angle shot I'm gonna use a wide angle shot and when I frame it I gotta frame it to what is gonna be because I can't afford to crop to change because then you're losing a lot of pixels and this camera is only 20 megapixels so the difference is with the higher level camera that has the higher pixels it's it's that that when you crop you don't lose that many pixels and the picture can still be printed on a big scale now on the 20 megapixels rs i mean on the r6 and the 5d mark ii i was doing prints and i still do prints from 20 by 30 and the quality is freaking amazing the clarity the the the, the sharpness everything is on it the colors are beautiful so 20 megapixels yeah i think that's enough so hey with that being said if you've been watching thank you so much for watching here's the slideshow of the photos if you have any questions feel free to put them down in the comment below and next time be blessed peace with my older brother older brother oh, oh. <laughs> not old <laughs> oh. and uh, he wants to go and uh, fly his drone today so he took me to this uh, kind of like a valley area here in Arlington so we're gonna fly the drones and I'm also gonna do a review on the Canon R6 camera 